guys welcome back to my channel it's Shantae's way here today I'm going to be showing you guys my hair routine for hair care and hair growth I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the video the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is apply coconut oil to my hair as my pre poo now this is something that I do before shampooing that is the actual definition of pre poo and the thing is with the oil it makes your hair a lot more manageable and it also breaks down your hair a little more so that you don't have to deal with a lot of tangles or so that the shampoo doesn't dry out your hair now if you're using a really good shampoo like I do then you won't have to worry about your hair being drying out anyways but you do want to put a pre poo on your hair just to make sure that you are you know conditioning your hair and it just helps a lot after you apply your pre poo and you wash it out, you will notice that your hair is a lot more softer and it just turns out a little better. Now, I do want to mention that you do need to pre poo a couple of times throughout your regimen, so you don't want to just do it once. You want to keep doing it, and this will yield results for hair growth. I also love to massage my hair as I put on the pre poo. Now there is a structured way that you can do this where you just part your hair and you put it on in a more structured way. But as you guys can see, I'm just kind of putting it all over my hair just because that's what I like to do. Sometimes I do it in a structured way, sometimes I don't. I'm going to take this um, scalp massaging brush and I'm going to go ahead and massage my scalp with it. Now I can use my fingertips to do this but the massaging brush does get in a little better and it does massage your scalp a little better and it also promotes hair growth and I actually have a coupon code down below if you want to hit the link down in my description box you can get $20 off of this brush which is pretty cool given the fact that it helps so much with hair growth and it's such a um, great tool it even removes the dirt from your hair when you're in the shower if you want to lift the dirt before shampooing so it has a lot of benefits to this brush so if you want to click down below and get that discount go ahead and do that girl now after I finish massaging my scalp I normally like to spray a little bit of water on my hair just because I'm going to wrap my hair up into a bun and leave it in for about 15 to 20 minutes and I feel like when you put a little bit of water on your hair it does add even more moisture. So after shampooing, I do want to go in with the extremely deep treatment mask. And I'm going to be making this all by myself. So this is a DIY. I'm just going to take bentonite clay, one tablespoon, and also one tablespoon of seaweed. Now this is a pretty strong mask. The seaweed doesn't smell good. And I just want you guys to be aware of that. So I will put these down in the description box so that you can find them. But I actually got them on Amazon. I'm just adding in water to my mixture. And I'm actually eyeballing it because that's how I normally do my DIYs. But if you want to be more precise, you can go ahead and measure out your ingredients. So if you guys didn't know, sea kelp does have a rich source of vitamin A, B, C, and D, and also E. It's also very high in zinc, and it also has magnesium, iron, and copper, along with the bentonite clay that is amazing for removing toxins. I love bentonite clay so much, I use it internal and external. So to put this on your hair, it is amazing because you want to, of course, reset your hair when you are starting with your healthy hair routine. Now, I do not say that you should use this weekly I personally would not because I like to use it just when my hair is like overly dirty like it was now because I had used a lot of gel in my hair a little bit before this mask and it just gets out all the buildup and all of the icky stuff so bentonite clay is definitely the way to go if you're ready to kind of reset your hair it also improves the um, look of your hair just from the fact that it removes so many of the toxins so you guys did see that I added a little bit of raw honey to the mixture as well. And I did this because bentonite clay can sometimes be a little harsh on your hair and make it feel a little dry. I wouldn't say harsh, but it would make it feel a little dry. So I just added in the honey to kind of combat that. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix it up. And you guys see that as I eyeballed it, I seen that there needed to be a little bit more bentonite clay. So I added that into the mixture. Now I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my hair and as you guys know I just got done shampooing my hair. I did not actually shampoo my hair, I actually did a co-wash so I don't know why I keep saying shampoo. You don't want to shampoo your hair before putting in this mixture. To me it just 
doesn't make sense because the mixture is going to pretty much act as a shampoo with stripping your hair of all the buildup and toxins that are in your scalp but you are able to do exactly what you want to do in the regimen but I just found that this works a little better so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my hair and then after I apply it I'm going to hop in the shower to rinse it out I did want to let you guys know that when you apply the clay it's gonna feel a little hard on your hair and you're gonna think that it's kind of like rough feeling that's just how bentonite clay feels it doesn't matter how much honey you put on into the mixture so I just wanted to let you guys know especially for those of you who are trying this for the first time and have never tried bentonite clay <laughs> So the key to a really good growth routine and a growth regimen is to just make sure that you're consistent and to make sure that you're putting very natural ingredients into your hair. So as much as you can, go ahead and make your DIYs or find products that are very pure and you know for a fact that they take pride in their ingredients. This will help your hair to grow and it also will keep so much buildup off your scalp because a lot of the products that are not all the way natural they do leave a lot of buildup on your scalp and you don't want that so when it comes to your growth routine you want to make sure that you are doing very natural products and maybe even doing DIYs if you are into that just so you can keep your regimen very clean and in turn this will keep your hair very clean and keep your hair growing so that things are not very clogged up or you don't have a lot of issues with buildup blocking your hair from actually growing I went ahead and kept this sea kelp and bentonite mask in my hair for about 45 minutes and then I went in the shower and I rinsed it out again and I actually did co-wash my hair once again and I applied a um, conditioner as well so to style my hair I'm just going to do a wash and go and for your wash and go you want to pick products that are pretty good because you're going to be keeping these products in your hair for about a week or however long your wash and goes normally last. So I'm just going to put my daily strengthening conditioner in my hair from my line Nourish by Shante. And yes, I know this is sold out on my website guys, but stay tuned for an update where I'll be showing you guys and telling you guys more about that restock. So don't get upset with me. I know that it's, stock, that it's not in stock right now. So I'm going to go ahead and brush my hair and this is just going to um, detangle my hair. I did do a little bit of detangling in the shower but I'm just going over it once again. And then once I get done detangling my hair I take some more conditioner and I just put that on my hair. And to be honest I feel that the best wash and goes, well at least my best wash and goes are created when I use my fingers. So I'm going in with my fingers and kind of just raking the conditioner through my hair. Um, a lot of people ask me what I think about using conditioner only as my wash and go styler. I used to hate doing that, but I find that the most important thing is just to find a really good conditioner because I have been doing it with my conditioner I'm using here, Nourish by Shantae Strengthening Conditioner, and it has been working very well as a styler and an all around conditioner. So I love the fact that it is just amazing like that. So I'm just going ahead and doing that all over my hair, raking the product through and detangling my hair and just making sure that I actually pay attention to every part of my hair so that all of my strands get covered and so that I don't have to do much throughout the week and so that this could be the last time that I'm really putting in a lot of work on my hair. And here's a little a lymph check for you guys. I'm always um, getting asked how long my hair is or has it grown yes it has I'm actually 
officially at tailbone length. You guys said that I was at tailbone length when I straightened my hair, but I don't think that I was quite there. I think I was just above. Well, now I'm actually at tailbone length. I would like for my curly hair to get down to my tailbone, but that will be a little longer, but I do want that goal to be reached for my hair to be down to my tailbone when it's actually curly. So guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoy this hair routine. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.